Welcome to my re review guide for CEH version 9 material. Here we're looking at questions 46 through 50. First of all, make sure you understand what spoofing is. Are you spoofing a website? Are you spoofing DNS? Are you spoofing a MAC address? And that's where you can take someone else's and you pretend it to be yours. Like if you're spoofing your MAC address, it won't be your actual MAC address, it will be whatever you're spoofing. With DNS, you can actually spoof certain websites. So when you go there, you think you're at a legitimate site and you're really not. And again, a big part of that is the spoofing. Liability for executives. When a data breach occurs or when a security concern uh, is brought up, Executives can be held civilly liable if they knew about the action and they failed to act. This is actually becoming more and more common. Executives are not typically held criminally liable, but it depends on the degree or the amount. But more often than not, executives that fail to act to protect their organizations that were advised to can be held civilly liable. If you're looking at how to do um, to see what ports are open, you'd be doing a open port scanning and you could use tools like Nmap or Zenmap or any other open port scanner. But again, if you want a quick what ports are open on my network, you can do a port scanner that will scan all the ports and it should give you a report with which hosts have which ports open. Next we have uh, SOAP. So what is SOAP? SOAP is a simple object address protocol. It's used for messaging between different operating systems. While it predominantly is used over HTTP, it is used for the XML portion. It is not only compatible with HTTP, it's just that's the most common. Last question for this review is understanding the N-tier system. N-tier typically comes in three tiers, presentation, logic, and data. If we're looking at how it's presented, how it will be shown to the user, it's going to be presentation. If we're talking about the data being coordinated between the applications, processes, process decisions, or calculations, it will be the logical layer. If we're talking about how the data is stored and retrieved, it's the data tier. Again, if it is processed, it's the logic tier. Alright, that's five questions for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thank you. You have a great day.